October is always a great month to go stargazing, and in 2020 it's got some truly unmissable sights. In the Northern Hemisphere October means longer nights, and when the clocks change it makes stargazing a possible in the early evening. It's also the month that the jewels of the winter night sky begin to return. The unmissable Andromeda Galaxy, the closest giant galaxy to our Milky Way, is becoming visible right after dark while towards the end of the month the sparkling Pleiades star cluster will rise in the east before midnight. The planets are lingering. Jupiter and its four Galilean moons shine brightly in the southwest after dark with dimmer Saturn in tow, but this month it's the turn of Mars to dominate post-sunset skies as it comes to opposition. Meanwhile, Venus sparkles in the pre-dawn skies. Insert a couple of meteor showers, one that's visible right after sunset and another caused by none other than Halley's Comet, and you've got a busy celestial month that deserves an intriguing finale. Cue a rare, Halloween Hunter's Blue Moon, on October 31, 2020, which will be best caught at moonrise. Here's exactly what you need to know about when, where and how to catch October 2020's stargazing highlights. When. Anytime after dark on Wednesday, October 7, 2020 where to look. All sky-most meteor showers are at their best around midnight when the viewer is firmly on the night side of the planet. Not so the Draconids meteor shower, which peaks tonight and is best seen right after dark. The calling card of a short-period comet called 21P Jacobini's Inner, which was last in the solar system in 2018, its dust and debris will create around 10, shooting stars, per hour as it collides with atmosphere. That makes it a great opportunity to go stargazing as soon as it gets dark with the likelihood of at least a few easily visible, shooting stars. When, anytime after dark this month, but especially on Tuesday, October 13, 2020, where to look? Mars will rise in the east, shine all night long in the south and set in the west every 26 months Earth and Mars get close. That's because Mars has an orbital period of 687 days while Earth's year lasts 365 days. Occasionally, Earth catches up on Mars. That's what's happening on Tuesday, October 13, essentially placing us between Mars and the Sun. Consequently, not only is Mars larger in the night sky from our point of view, but it's 100% illuminated by the Sun, much like the Moon is during a full moon. So as well as being at its biggest, it's also at its brightest. Not surprisingly, this is the best night to view it, though in practice any time this month is a good time. Technically speaking, Mars will be bigger and brighter than at any time since 2003. So get outside this week and watch Mars rising in the east at dusk, and setting in the west at dawn. It's looking fabulous right now after dark, and unmistakably red.